I know the worship story they told you. That if you clean up the place tonight, they'll pay to have your tires fixed by morning, right? It's a lie. They've said the same story to countless other over the last 20 years. They baited you. You're here to be a human sacrifice. You're here to be eaten and killed. Do you understand that? This town has a dark history. And it all starts with this horrible place. Willie's may seem like a happy-go-lucky child's play place, but it's much, much more than that. Willie's was built in 1996, the brainchild of Jerry Robert Willis. If that name sounds familiar to you, it should. Jerry was one of the last century's most sick and sadistic serial killers. Jerry spent most of the time cultivating similar sickos. And these were the most depraved people you could ever imagine. Often, Jerry and his crew would whisk away unsuspecting families to the super happy fun room. Once inside, the families would be treated to a birthday cake and a private show by Willie Weasel. The shows would always end the same way. After numerous missing persons reports and suspicious smells coming from the inside of Willie's, the law felt it was time to investigate. Jerry and his gang refused to be taken alive. After the police finally entered the super happy fun room, they discovered that Jerry and his crew had performed a satanic suicide ritual. Instead of surrendering, the killers decided to take their own lives. Those familiar with satanic rituals speculate that the suicide ritual was some sort of a catra transfer energy, where the memory and, and consciousness of the living relocate into non-living entities. In this case, animatronic robots. Ten years later, Willie's reopens with a new owner. Tex McAdoo, he tries to keep the current public unaware of its horrific past. Things are wrong from the start. There's reports that the creatures would move on their own. Some would say things they weren't programmed to say. Daddy. <laughs> and others would kill and feast on customers. After several ghastly incidents, Willie's closes its doors again. But Tex still doesn't bulldoze it to the ground. Why, you may ask? Because Willie got to him. Convinced him to make a deal with the devil. Along with all those other backwoods inbreds in the sorry town. <laughs> 